How you doing on Big D? What I'm going to do is I'm going to break down how I built this. I'm going to give you all the measurements. And I'm also going to have in the description below uh, the original um, designer of this on his uh, on his channel. So if you want to hang out, and we'll go through it. And I'm going to use a digital indicator along with a tape measure. Nothing too crazy. And I'll do it in inches and also millimeters. Stay tuned. First I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off. And then I'm going to go up to a table and then we're going to go through all the measurements. And you'll see in the description below where I purchased the bearings and also um, the hardware. The plate I purchased through a local supplier, a metal, metal supplier. I'm sure you could find um, all these things there, but in their, their local area. All right. So the plate measures uh, about 10 and a quarter inches long. Right about four inches wide. I'll check the thickness with the digital calipers. Okay, we're gonna do it in inches first. The plate I'm not gonna do in millimeters, but the smaller things that I can use the digital calipers for, I will do. Sorry about that, I'm trying to do this with just two hands. So it's right about half an inch, 0.543 inches. Let's show, uh, let's change that to millimeters. So 13.82 millimeters thick. And this is just something that I chose. Now the original um, designer of this, he used steel. And again, he hasn't given much information on any of the d dimensions of what he used. Um, so I'll go to the front. Now these bearings, they were purchased on Amazon, and like I said, I'm going to, going to uh, dis disclose that information on in the description below. Same thing with these bearings. Same thing with the hardware that I purchased. All of the hardware was purchased on Amazon, except for this bolt here, which is a grade eight. I went with grade eight, a hardened bolt, just because of how much pressure is going to be applied when you're removing a tire or installing a tire. Now, let's see. Um, now the pieces that I used, those are as well, um, the same thickness, the 13.82 or you know, the half inch, roughly half inch thick. Um, drilled and tapped. Now drilled normal holes through and then tapped the lower plate. Uh, and if you could see the hole 
I used a hole saw, just like what you would do if you were installing a door handle on a door, but it's for metal. Let me uh, change this around. I'm gonna have to flip this over. We'll start with millimeters, the metric system. It's 43, almost 40, 43 and a, a little over 43 and a half millimeters. And that's the uh, width. Let's convert it. Sorry about that with the video camera. Um, That's 1.714, so one and three quarters of an inch. Let me see if I can get it squeezed out a little bit more. So right about an inch and a quarter hole. And after I did the hole, I used a cutoff wheel and then sliced a couple of straight lines so it can be slid into the machine. And how far back in, if you were to guesstimate, which inch and three quarters, so let's see, so an inch and three quarters, so roughly, which I should have uh, done some more math, which I'm not real good at, but you see the distance is right about there. So that's two and a half inches where the saw would actually um, be the furthest in I hope that makes sense. So if you were to take inch and three quarters and go in, you would probably be, you would start to drill right about there. So obviously that's gonna be a little eyeball that you're gonna to have to decide if you wanna take the dimensions of this being two and a half inches and then it's an inch and three quarters hole, you're gonna have to do the math. I didn't do that, my apologies. Now this hole, where the actual bar goes into play, let me flip it again. Take the measurement and then show you. So it's a little over, if you were to use an, an inch and a quarter, and then I had to drummel this out a little bit more to fit the bar. You don't want it really tight. You want it a little bit loose so it does move freely. So if that is, 1.3 in inches, it's 33.16 millimeters. And I didn't uh, do this in millimeters, I, I apologize, let's see. We'll do it in millimeters and give you that heads up. This was an inch and three quarters and it's 44.1 four, seven, four, six. And instead of two and a half inches long in metric, it would be 63.56. Now these are all 
not perfectly detailed, but I'm sure you can actually come up with your own and it would still work. We'll flip it over now. Uh, actually, we probably should do this first. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this properly. Um, you can see the shims that I have used. I used two plates of, let's see what this uh, thickness is of aluminum that I used. We'll start with millimeters. How about that? Used. Three point five nine millimeters. Let's convert it. Point one four. So point one four inches. So I'm gonna say that's right around an eighth of an inch. Now the thickness between this gap, so it doesn't lift up when you're pushing. Um, zero that out. Uh, that is going to be. 0.355 millimeter uh, inches. Sorry, let's convert it. 9.05, and that is a little bit uh, uh, sloppy, which I have um, tried to come up with some other shims to make it tighter. You don't want it. Look again. This is something else that you do not want tight, but I think a little bit tighter is uh, the way to go. I was considering, if you look down there, um, maybe bending that aluminum down a little bit without having to change out those uh, washers for shims with a thinner washer. I just can't find a thinner washer yet. I'm not giving up yet. I got other options. Okay, so let's look at the length of my solid rod it is right about five and a quarter inches long the bottom side I cut a notch so it drops right into place and that comes back right about well if you look at Let's do it this way. One more second. Oh, my apologies. One hand to do each thing. Okay, we got a little better measurement right there. It is about three quarters of an inch back. I cut straight down with a... Uh, cutoff wheel. Some people call it a muffler cutter um, or a cutoff saw you could probably use even. Um, plasma cutter, whatever you want to use. And then I made this notch, ground it down on an angle. That way it drops right into place and it does the push properly. Um, I'll give you a Rough idea how far it goes back. Uh, it's probably right there. So it looks like about an inch and a quarter. Hope that helps. Now this hole, that was so the pin can drop down further and bypass the plate. That is 33.67. Oh, I uh, released it and it moved. Okay, let's 33.75 millimeters or 1.329 inches. So I'm, uh, 
thinking you should be able to come up with a rough idea where you would um, buy your, your materials. Um, after I, you know, you'll see them in the description is what I, what I have. And then the rest of the, the pieces you're, you're going to be able to come up with on your own, I'm sure. Um, now this is also one thing that's probably important, which is four and a quarter inches back from this hole that is going to go through the actual main uh, component of this uh, turntable. So, so, roughly four and a quarter back. And then this slot, you're going to want to keep that as close to the turntable as, as possible. And that is See if I can measure this properly. My measurements are correct. Seven and three eighths of an inch. Roughly. Okay, well, if you have any questions that maybe I didn't cover, let me know. And then I can see if I can come up with the information that you do need. Um, I do want to point out, I rose, I was going to keep, see how I have a knot in between the little plate I made and the bearing? That is because I wanted more support so it doesn't rock as much. So I raised it up, these bearings, and it puts more support onto uh, the bearings so it doesn't rock as much. And it's worked out very, very well. Uh, leave some comments in the comment section, and please like, share, subscribe. It would really help the show. I, I do appreciate it, and I will be posting different how-tos. I have a lot of knowledge, and I'm going to start sharing them. Have a great day. God bless.